Buy gold, you guys, buy gal. A research group in Canada tested the chicken in a few popular fast food places and came back with some truly pissing results. Sad to say, but Subway had the worst results. Its oven roasted chicken contained 53.6% chicken DNA and its chicken strips contained only 42.8% chicken DNA. What else is in the chicken, you ask? The researchers found it to be mostly soy fillers. The chicken items from other fast food restaurants tested were in the mid to high 80s in chicken content. The study also concluded that the chicken they tested from a grocery store was a hundred percent chicken. Subway claims that it only adds in one percent or less of soy protein to the items tested and does so to stabilize the texture and moisture. If you ever wonder why a fast food, high calorie meat sandwich has such little protein compared to what you could make at home, it's because of all the random shit they throw into the meat they use. Let us be real guys, we've known for a while that the biggest fast food chains add shit into our food that we would never want to eat if we knew exactly what it was. Remember when everyone was talking about pink slime being added to McDonald's items? Fast food is supposed to be cheap as fuck. In order to keep costs down, the ingredients, especially the meat, is usually not the best quality. It has all kinds of fillers, preservatives, and additives. Many times fast food places can claim that their meat is at a certain percentage because the fillers are scrap meat products. Nasty shit you would never choose to eat, but they can still technically call it chicken beef or whatever. As I said, we pretty much know that we aren't getting high quality food or even real food, as Rich Piana would say, with most of our fast food choices. Many people in the fitness community will eat fast food as a treat, but it's weird to think that the thing that you are tricking yourself into believing is a treat is really just some cheap slop thrown together in such a way as to trick your body into thinking that it's some kind of goodness. I don't eat fast food nearly as much as I used to when I was a teenager, but I will still gulp down some of that chemically engineered slop on occasion. To be honest, it really helps empty me out if I'm feeling constipated. I can take an ungodly dump a few hours after scarfing down a combo meal. Something about eating a whole bunch of saturated fat infused with cancer to empty the bowels. It's like your body is trying to stay alive or something. When I used to chow down on said shit regularly, I don't think it had this effect. Luckily, now I can turn to a place like Mickey D's to bring back the feels and dumps of my childhood. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about this. It's pretty weird, pretty strange. I know most of us already realize that fast food is bad, but we still will indulge on occasion. Why do we do this? Are we fucked up or what? Let me know in the comments below and I will check you in the next video. Peace.